Hey guys, what's up? Gray here, and today I am back in Cube World, and I have updated the latest mod pack. A few of you caught that there was no region lock in the last pack. This was a mistake, but now the Legacy Cube mod is in the zip file. Go ahead and download it from the description. Once you have the zip, you'll want to extract it all into your Cube World folder. This is where your Cube World is usually installed by Steam, usually the program files, Steam library, Steam apps, Common, and Cube World. So once you're in this file, you'll just want to open the mods folder here. So put these in here. Just replace them if you already have them. And here you go. Here's the mods and the mod loader. Just place whatever mods you want in here. And once you're done, you can close this out and open up Cube World. Then it will ask, would you like to run with mods? Just click yes. There will be the new Q Mega Mods GUI, just hit OK there. As well as it'll show all the mods you have loaded in this menu. Hit OK, and wait for the game to load. Currently, there are 11 working mods. They mostly work together and will improve the overall gameplay experience. The first mod is the Building Mod. You probably have already heard of this as I've made quite a few builds. If you have not, this is definitely a fun mod to play around with. When you hit Escape and Game, a GUI will appear. This little window will allow you to change the color of the block you can place. When activating build mode, you can build or break any block. This doesn't work with the unique items, however you can get pretty creative with all 255 colors. The second mod is the Cube Mega Mod. This recently came out and includes many mods in one. I've been told that it will continue to be updated and allow support for more mods to come. An example mod from this pack is the Deep Sea Diving Event and the new Double Tap Movement. The third mod is the Cube Gression mod. It adds artifact bonuses whenever you find artifacts around the world. This can boost different stats and help grinding feel a bit smoother. It's one of the most up-to-date progression mods at the moment. Next and fourth is the Cube mod, which adds back the region lock. It is a legacy mod, but I have tested it out to make sure that whenever I leave a region, it will not get rid of my artifacts and gear. As you can see, there's no region lock here as I'm going uh, past this region marker. So you can see I just left the region, and I'm going to head back. Yep, there you go. So I've not gotten these in both regions, I only got them in one. Um, but now I can go in any region, and I'll have whatever artifacts I've collected. Fifth and sixth are pretty small, but will also help smooth gameplay from beginning to end, and are the other Lich mods. The first is the Guardian Fix. In game, it says Guardians should have 25% extra HP, but it only gives 25 extra HP. This fixes that. As well as the Cube Patch. This mod patches the artifact boost for gliding and riding. In seventh is the Monk class. I love this class because it's unique and adds a new style of gameplay. You can punch creatures and gain mana to set flames down below you. You can spread the flames by walking around. This is great for if creatures were to follow you and then they'd be trapped in your fire. In 8th is the Pet Changer mod. I love this mod because you can get hundreds of different pets. Just use the command slash get pet space and then any number you want after it. This will spawn a new pet for you. Then you can change its appearance if you don't like it by doing the command again. Next we'll have the Bright Knight Legacy mod. Even though it's old, it still loads and runs. I use this even though it doesn't really help very much. I usually try to get to a town before night, but if I don't, I'm saved for a little while longer. In 10th, we have the command mod. This is very useful as it adds many commands that you can use while in game. Some examples are slash help, slash chords to get your location, slash TP so you can teleport to specific chords or to a player, slash set time, which sets the time, slash name so you can rename yourself, as well as a bunch of other server commands. Last but not least, we have the chat mod. Although Cube World has a chat box, chat is not implemented into multiplayer as you will be the only one who can see the messages. This mod implements chat into multiplayer so you can talk to your friends if you don't over voice chat. If you'd like to download and install this pack, you can find the link in the description. Just go ahead and drag and drop the mods folder with the mod loader and you're all set. And that is all. That is the 11 mods that is in this pack. It is slowly growing and we're getting new mods every day. So stick around to see what kind of mods come out next. But that is all for today. If you did enjoy, please drop a like. I'll have more Keyworld content on the way. But thank you all for watching and have a nice day.